Mike, did anything of note happen at Tycoon Weekend? Like anything crazy or anything that you can recall? Nah, just another weekend, you know. Honestly, nothing too crazy. Just a little run on the treadmill for real. Yeah, Next just day in the office, you know. Yeah, it was just a normal weekend. All right, let's do the episode. <laughs> Buys breakfast. Buys breakfast. Day one, day one. What is up? We got the menace in this bitch. This this dude be extorted everybody, bro. <laughs> he be extorted everything in the universe, dude. Bro. He came, he threw me up against the wall when he got here. It's like fucking parking should have been easier. I was like, geez, bro, I'm sorry. <laughs> now you owe me 25k because I couldn't park. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? We yes, got sir. the menace, Michael Ferguson in the building, man. Michael also, J. Ferguson. Oh, my, my, my bad, my bad, my bad. Hold on, my bad. We got we Michael outside. J. Ferguson in the building, also known as Two. Bit, man, a menace, man. Two bit. What's up, Francis man? Francis Two Bit Johnson. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Francis yeah. Two Bit Johnson. Yeah, we man. outside. What's good? What's up? How's everything? How's everything? Everything's Gucci, man. Yes, sir. I yes, love that. I love Joe. Man. So many people have been asking to have you on. Yeah, they've like, been waiting. Where's Two Bit? Where's Two Bit? They've been waiting, man. Yeah. We got him. <laughs> it was hard to nail him down, but we got him. <laughs> man, man, man. What's up, bro? So, so what's been up? What, what, what have you been up to? Oh, uh, just grinding, man. Love that. I mean, trying to make it happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got to. I'll be shooting a movie in November. Nice. Hell yeah, fire. I love that. Can you say anything about it yet or just kind of... I can say who I'm shooting it with. Mm. Preston Whitmore. Ooh, nice. He did. He, he he wrote and directed This Christmas. Nice. Fire, fire. So that's going to be fun. I love what that, kind, bro. What kind of movie is it? Like, oh, you can't I can't. I can't really talk too much about it, but it's going to be good. Fine. It's going to be wait, good. Trust me. I love that, bro. Hell I love yeah. that, bro. So let's get, let's get into a little bit of the of the power verse and, no. then, uh, and, then, and then we'll go from there. So, um, yeah, I... Want to hear the the story because I know you have a crazy story. How you were you an extra at the beginning? Yeah, you were yeah, background yeah, yeah. actor, yes. central casting. Yes, that's shout out to Ann. Crazy <laughs> to think about. Yes, bro. Yeah. Please, uh, do you know the entire? I, I don't. I don't really know the entire story. Yeah, I, I still don't really know the full yeah. full story. So please, I, so I'm gonna sit here just like. <laughs> so long story short, God bless me. So he, I, at it was a time where um I'm from Laurelton, Queens. I'm saying so, like this whole power universe is like very familiar to me, right? And so it was like a whole time. It was a whole point where um, I didn't know what I wanted to do in my life because you know I had one foot in the streets and then one foot trying to do the right thing. So then um, I saw that a lot of my friends were getting caught up in a lot of situ like crazy situations. Yeah. So I prayed to God and I'm like, just please show me my purpose and my passion, so that way I could do. Do the right thing, right. opposed to like, you know what I'm saying, doing mm -hmm. hundred years or getting killed like extremely early. Mm -hmm. So, Thanks. at the time I was going to this community college called Nassau, Nassau Community College, and then in order to graduate, I had to take an acting class. I took the acting class and I loved. It. I fell in love immediately. So then I'm like, yo, I don't know how to get into acting, but I need to. I need to. I need to be an actor. So then I started. At, that's when I started as an actual essential casting. Right. So, so specifically, what did you love about acting um, when you took that class? I'm curious. So what I loved about it was, so you got to remember, like I'm, I'm, I, I had one foot in the streets. Right. So everybody, like, I'm really Michael J. Ferguson, but everybody in my hood know me as Mike, Mike Diesel. So like, the vulnerability. Right. So like in the streets, you can't be vulnerable. But in act, in the industry and the acting, it's all about being vulnerable. Like you gotta be right. Not like not, open, not in a right. weak way, but like vulnerable. Like that you gotta, gives you, you gotta be open. Yeah, yeah exactly. Change, type right. of shit. Like, but in the streets, yeah. not like that. If you, right. if you if you if you if you if you're vulnerable, that's a weak. People yeah, a will weak yeah. get right. you if you're vulnerable. I love so that. That's, bro. But that was the, that's why I was like, I felt some type of way before taking a class. I'm like, yo, if they laugh at me, if I'm whack, mm -hmm. it's gonna be lit. So, right. but then. I was good. I was Gucci. Like they, they loved it. So right. I was like, oh, that's this. This is it. This, right. this is what I need to be because yeah. it's, it's my. It will be a weakness, and now it's, a, it's, it's your strength. Right. Mm, so I that's... thought that was dope. Yeah, that's some tough. people really succeed in acting when they're just truly themselves. Because that's a lot what, of people what, um, like to be other characters, yeah. like character actors. But if some people are just so themselves in uh -huh. the, it brings a character because you are in a way like you have a persona about right. you that's right. like. It's very intriguing and right. engaging. 
So yeah. you just being Mike J. Ferguson with the character mm -hmm. and with the lines, it's automatically going to be interesting. Right, exactly. So I think that's yeah. why people really probably fucked with you and responded to you. Yeah, I don't know. Acting is so uh, mysterious. It's like a whole mystique to it. I don't, I don't understand it at all. Right. You know, I'm not going to pretend I do. Right. You know? Same. But that's what's interesting about it. I don't think anyone really does. It, I, like, that's the thing with acting. Like it's always something new to learn about this shit. Yeah, like, no matter how much you day. think you know, one like there's a day where you're gonna learn some shit. You're like, word, like this is how this is <laughs> like that. Like yeah, it's, it's, it's endless things to learn about yeah. this 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 profession. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. So so you signed up with Central Casting. Oh, so I so I signed up with Central Casting, and I was an extra for like a year. But you know what's crazy? I don't. It probably doesn't mean anything. But I, my first, the very first show I was an extra on, it was called Believe. Mm -hmm. So to me, I'm like, yo, right, so this means you gotta believe, you gotta keep going. And then the second that. show was Power as, as an extra, season one. Do you remember your first scene in Power? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, was a, it was it was in a club scene. I could show you in episode one. It, it, I, you could see my silhouette. I would have to show you though, <laughs> but you could see my silhouette no way. when when Ghost met Angela. And when she had the red dress on, I could show you my silhouette, and you'd be like, no way. That's what I could show cool you. Easter egg. Yo, wow. I, I, I could show you. The fans wow. probably don't even know that. Yeah. Because everybody else was dancing to the beat. Mm -hmm. no, not dancing to the beat. Everybody else was dancing, and there's no beat. Because you know how they right. play the music, and then they cut it. But, well, so, let, let's explain that to, to the audience. So, so when you're doing a club scene, and there's music, and you're like, you, it's really loud. There's actually no, no music. music at all. They play music for like ten seconds before they before they say action, <laughs> so everybody kind of gets a feel of the other vibe, and then they just stop they the music, and then everybody just gotta say they line. You have to. The, the, the like extras have to keep party. dancing and that everything. That shit is crazy. Like, I remember right. doing that shit doing the fucking the 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 frat house. You right. know? I'm like, bro, this shit is so but, weird. But the, yeah. reason, <laughs> the reason why they do that is because they need to get the actors. Because obviously, there's a conversation right. oh. while in the club. <laughs> So you also have to pretend like it's loud in there. Yeah, like, yeah. Hey, Rico, is we gonna do this? Thing? <laughs> well, there's literally nobody <laughs> talking in the background. Yeah, y'all the yeah. only two people talking, but y'all still gotta scream like yeah. like y'all over like y'all talking over and, the music. And, and that day was probably like a, it was probably like a 15 hour day. So every you know all the extra like mm. the girls they they had the heels on and everything. So they they yeah. they're like right. ready to leave. Yeah, 15 so every, hours in heels is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so so um, it was a long day. They cut the music. Everybody's dancing to the music. I mean, everybody's dancing to the pretend music. Yeah. And I was the only one not dancing and just studying. I'm like, I'm trying to learn. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, I had a whole different mindset opposed to everybody else. Mm, but, Damn, bro, yeah. that's so that's such a cool Easter egg. Like two tough. bit first episode just like this. Like you, yeah. that's crazy. Nah, you gotta see that. I gotta see you will, that. You, you will not believe you like get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> I, we'll, we'll, we'll post that on the crew has it Instagram Hell when yeah. this episode comes out. I'll be posting that clip for sure. We're gonna take a quick break from the episode. Michael couldn't do this ad read because he's all over the place. We're gonna talk to you about our friends at Vincero Collective. Yeah, Look at these watches. These watches are stylish, affordable. They look fresh. They're great quality. I gotta take a little link off. I love these watches. Sometimes, you know, I go to the club and I got my rolly on. Sometimes I take it off and I'm like, I want the Vincero on tonight. You know, Maybe Vincero looking fine. You know, I gotta look a little swagged out. It's a lifestyle brand out of San Diego, so they don't just stop at them. You know what I'm saying? They make glasses, sunglasses, they make jewelry. So what's their motto, G? Their motto is three words. Stylish, quality, and versatility, baby. That means you can wear that anywhere. Anywhere. Whether anywhere. You're and you're church, gonna look fly. Whether you're going in the club, whether you're going to a little basketball game, whether you're going to a little meeting. Listen, you know how you know how important a wash is to finish the whole fit. Yeah, nah, you don't got a fit on unless you throw a watch on that The watch, watch makes the fit. Make sure you check out our boys at Vincero Collective. But the glasses, now we gotta talk about the glasses because you know I don't go nowhere without my glasses. One, because I'm blind and two, because I just look cool. These glasses are polarized with 100% UV protection. Five-year guarantee. There's a five-year guarantee if you want to trade something out, swap something out, or return. And there's a 365-day return policy as well. Got you covered. We got you covered. Make sure you don't lack 20% off free shipping promo code crew. Say that site again, wide. Mike. Site-wide. Site-wide, baby. The whole entire website, 20% off. Just make sure you use the code crew and you get free shipping. www.vincerocollective.com promo code crew. Crew. Listen, this is how you spell it in case y'all don't know. V-I-N-C-E-R-O. Yes. Back to the episode. So so you do that first episode, then then what's next? Like, is there a next step in the power universe? Are there any other scenes that you were in that you so remember? I, I, did, I did another episode. Yeah, it's like, I, I did a few episodes, because once you're in central casting, it's like a whole system and everything. Right. So they keep calling you back, especially if you, if, if you show up on time and you do what you're supposed to do. They keep calling you back. It's easy to work with. They keep calling you back. So then it, it was like a whole year. 
So I started in November, like the end of like the end of November 2013. So then by early November 2014, that's when I got the recurring role with uh Ro Timmy with, with Dre nice. Fire. in the rib shack. <laughs> nice. Fire. And did, did you read for it or they just offered no. it to you? Oh, so, right, so I was an extra at first. I didn't read for it. Right. I, I did read for it, but I was an extra at first. Right. Mm. So that so th this is a story that Courtney told me. She said that um they were looking for an actor to play too big. But for you know, I guess because it's LA, a bunch of people from LA were auditioning, but you know, they don't got the New York swag. They don't got New right. York authenticity. So like, yeah, exactly. Like Facts. you can't, like, yeah, you, yeah, can't you can't fake that. You can't fake that. You that. It's, in, it's in you, yeah. not on you. That's it a fact. is what it is. But um so they 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 couldn't pull it off. So then they had the idea, like, yo, let me let's just use the let's just give the people the extras that were in the shot an opportunity. So then we we read for it, and I, I and I, I wound up getting it. Mm. Yeah. Do you remember the the audition scene? Yeah, it was one line. <laughs> and, and, and yeah, listen, this, 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 this the fucked up part, right? So I got I finally got the line because I was trying to get in the I wasn't even in the union at that point. So I got but then I was an extra, I was a featured extra for three episodes. So that got that got that got me in the union. And then when I got that one line, that's another way to get in the union. So then. I finally got the line. I'm telling everybody, my family, my friends, like, yo, I'm being episode 205. It was episode 205 when Tommy comes to the rib shack and he, now he becomes a connect. So then they, the editor cut the scene out. I mean, cut the line out. Damn. Yeah, so I, I'm watching it and I'm, I'm watching it to the end, mm -hmm. like, yo. Where my line at? <laughs> what the fuck? Like, 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 where the, where the fuck do I say the yeah. line? Yeah. Like, yeah. And I told oh, everybody, and they all watch. So from that point, I said, I'll never tell people. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I just what, let them wait, watch. Wait, what was the line? Uh, he asked about Brock. He asked about, uh, Tupi asked about, um, he asked Dre about something, and Dre lied to him. Mm. Yeah. But I see why they I see why they, they cut it out, because right. it helped push the story for further the next season. Right. Mm -hmm. But then and, and then during season three, then I got my, I finally got my line and I was go, I was cool and I I didn't tell everybody and they they were calling me telling me what you're saying. So I said, yeah, that's how I was, I ain't I was doing the same thing as last time. Yeah. So that's I'm like, yo, I'm never I, I, whatever. I'm never I'm not I'm not talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> let let them see. Though. Let them see. Let see me just work. Themselves. I'm just yeah. work. So so what was it what was like your first like big day on set where you were like Okay, I have a lot now. I'm starting to get a bigger workload. People are starting to know like who Two Bit is. Like, when did you see that change? That was during season six. Yeah, everything mm. changed during season six. Yeah. But mm. let me say this: like during season two, I felt like that. I'm not gonna lie. Mm. Like, I was just an extra because you gotta believe. You gotta really hundred percent. You mm -hmm. gotta believe. Right. Mm -hmm. So it, this is a funny story because. There were a bunch of people, like you know, we shot the we shot the rib shack. The rib shack is right there. Yeah. Where's it at? Oh my it's god. In, it's, it's in, in Brooklyn. Nah, no, it's in Brooklyn. It's in Brooklyn. Right. It's like right, it, it's right by Fulton Street. But I think uh, I forgot, I forgot the cross street, but we were shooting there. So it's like a apartment building right across the street. So mm -hmm. everybody was lined up. They had the spot, the spotlight on and everything. So we're, we're walking to the set, because you know the extras gotta get there first. Mm -hmm. So we walk into the set. And I'm just imagining, like, yo, they're all here to see me. Mm -hmm. They all hyped to see me. So I'm really imagining that. And then 50 comes out, and I'm like, oh shit, he fucked the whole shit up because it, 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 it threw me off. And I'm like, they're here for him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and then yeah. when, when, when he left, I was able to put it back on me. Right. But I'm like, yo, that's why they were really here. Right. Mm. But you, I felt like that's that was my biggest, that was like the biggest day on set for me. Mm. Right. But as far as like in real in reality, like other people reacted, it was like during season six. I feel like the the episode where we killed Dre, and um, that was on my birthday. That was a crazy and that was always a dream of mine to work on my birthday. Mm. My, my birthday's April first, so I'm like, yo, and it was crazy because Omari just won an Image Award. Mm -hmm. Damn, the that, that was a fucked up weekend though, because. We lost Nipsey that weekend. So like Amari uh, won the Image Award Saturday night. Mm -hmm. We lost Nipsey, Nipsey Sunday. And then we, and I, I was out here and then we had to fly back to New York and we were filming Monday. And Monday was my birthday, I think. It was either Monday or Tuesday. No, it was Monday. We lost Nipsey the 31st, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, crazy. So, yeah. That's a crazy but, So I, it was just fucked up. To, to be an actor, you have to have some 
sort of delusion in your brain. Right. Because yeah. who thinks they're gonna go to Hollywood or go this and be uh, and be on a show and be right, this right, like right. there are tens of millions and millions and millions of people who want to do this. It's the most competitive right. business in the, the world. The most competitive. So you gotta have that thing yeah. in your head to, to go, they're here for me, motherfucker. Like mm -hmm. you have to or you're not gonna make you're it. You're not gonna make it. You so gotta I, believe dude, gotta I manifest respect that, that shit. so much. Yeah. You gotta manifest that yeah. shit. Put it in the air, man. Yeah, you gotta put it in the air. And like you say you gotta believe, bro. It's so my bad, go ahead. Now I was just saying for like every Everybody that's watching that wouldn't be as like that's an aspiring actor. Like like he said, he started as an extra back. Extra. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't even know. <laughs> he didn't even know. And then he just kept on doing what he was doing. He kept on being himself. And that's what gets you the furthest, being yourself. Central you gotta be yourself. Is gonna get so many sign ups after yeah. this. Yo. <laughs> they're like, wait, that happens? <laughs> they're like, what? Central casting is the way. Yeah, man. Because it puts you on set. So right. even though you're not the principal actor, like right. you still get to learn. You and get the experience. Yeah, you get to meet people. Like it's a good experience. I but started, like you said, you gotta be on on time, Word, you gotta like, you know what I'm saying. You gotta be on time. You gotta do everything right so yes. they call you back. Cause if you're not on time, you gotta be on time. Doing bullshit, they not gonna call right. you back. Since yeah, I, I, call my you first back. time on set ever was background work as well. It was, a, it was a Woody Allen movie in Rhode Island, and then oh, I did man. a uh, an Ansel Elgort movie that also was filmed in Rhode Island. It was it was a uh, Joaquin <laughs> Phoenix and Emma Stone. They were the wow. leads of the of the Woody Allen movie. And I remember seeing Joaquin and Emma work, and I was like, it, it blew That's my lit. mind. It was a um. It was a, a like a, a fair, like a county fair scene. I rode a, um, a Ferris wheel for like five hours. <laughs> because you don't know. Exactly. It's my first time on set. I'm like, I'll be on the Ferris wheel. Yeah, you don't know. And then they're like, okay, cool. Joaquin's doing 37 takes. I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly, yo. Damn, Ferris wheel for five hours. Oh, oh, man. Man. But, but the, like, trash. The, second, the second I saw the set, and I always loved acting and performing and doing theater and, and, and doing improv. But the second I saw the movie set, there was something so magical about it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this is what I want to do gotta for be the here rest of my life. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be anywhere else but here. And every yeah, time I'm not here, I just want to be back here. Yeah, <laughs> I, hate, I hate rapping. Right. Like, you know, sometimes after, 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 after we rap, they be like, yo, we about to go do this, we about to go to this club. Da, da, da. I'm like, nah, I just want to be on set. Right. Like, I like the 18 hour days. Like, right. I, I love it too. I love night shoots. I love it all. Yeah, yeah the night yeah, shoots. Yeah, night but, shoots. But fire night shoots every day. <laughs> We're going to take a quick second from the episode and we're going to talk to you about our friends at True Classic, True Classic Tees. Baby. The best t-shirts in the business. In the business. See, my thing about these t-shirts, they fit you in the right places. You know what I'm saying? They fit in the right places. They don't get too bunched up around the stomach. That's the best part because when they bunch up around the stomach, like, oh my God, bro, I hate that. So I've been having to hit the gym a little heavier than, than usual, you know what I'm saying? Because the other t-shirts been showing my a little pudge, you know? I got you a little good though, bro. Belly. You were good though, bro. Got a little bib belly. That's why I've been, I've been in Equinox. That's why I look a little good. But... True Classic is always going to get me right, no matter if I'm going to Equinox or not. We don't just stop at t-shirts when it comes to True Classic stuff. Nope. They got all the men's essentials. Boxers, polos, tank tops. Hats. They got hats. Come on. like They don't stop at just t-shirts. Truckers are in right now, baby. Truckers no, they definitely are. are in. Truckers are the wave. So go get you one. These tees are moisture wicking. They prevent BO. Wear this to the club. Wear this to the club. You don't want to be in the club with that dirty dude who smells. You don't want to be next to the guy that smells at the club. Yeah. Make sure you, you don't want to be the guy that smells in the club either. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to be next to him. You don't want to be him. Two classics. Oh, and we got options for the big and tall. You know what I'm saying? If you're like seven foot three, we still got t-shirts, you know, elongated fit. You know what I'm saying? You can rock it. You got a little extra, you know, you got a little extra in the, in the stomach. You know, True Classic Tees got you covered. They also got people covered who are like 4'1", like me. You know what I'm saying? Now, look, you can update your wardrobe. 25% off trueclasses.com slash crew. Crew? Wait, 25% yeah. off? 25%, man. That's a good 25% off trueclassic.com. Use the promo code crew. If you spend a little more than $100, you get free shipping. Free shipping. Make sure you go to trueclassic.com. Slash crew. crew. Back to the episode. It's a gift and a curse because for some reason, I, I knock my scenes out so fast mm. and I hate leaving. Right. Mm. I hate leaving. Right. I'm like, yo, I want to <laughs> right. be here there all yeah, day. Yeah, let me do it again. Let me get one more. Like, no, we got it. We go, yeah, we got yeah, it. I was turning right. around like, damn. So turn around. How was that scene when when you did kill um when you killed Dre? Was that like, yeah, that shit is crazy. That was that a crazy day? That was a crazy day. That shit, that 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 scene was can can you run us through that day? Because yeah, absolutely. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love this motherfucker. Absolutely, hell yeah. I love absolutely. this motherfucker. <laughs> <Hey>, yo, 
That's it. Hold on. Let me, let me take a little. <laughs> <laughs> he said, let me get ready. Hold on. Let me get y'all on real quick. Because it, 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 it was fucked up because, you know, me and Bro tell me are friends. Right. Mm-hmm. So, like. I love him, side note. Dude, yeah, he's, he's cool. the man, bro. Yeah, he's cool. He's so, I, <laughs> so, I, I felt bad about it. But 2-Bit doesn't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. Right. 2-Bit, come on. Menace. Dre's a rat. Dre killed Brock, and he lied. He lied to 2-Bit about killing Brock. Right. Mm-hmm. So 2-Bit gave 2-Bit gave Dre a chance to like. So when so when you gotta remember, Kanan manipulated Dre into killing Brock. Right. Mm-hmm. So once Kanan and then Kanan started trying to ma- manipulate 2-Bit into killing Dre. So once Kanan start manipulating 2-Bit, now 2-Bit is starting to understand like, yo, you let an outsider come in on our thing because we didn't have no big homies. Right. And Kanan protected Dre in jail because Dre was soft. So he needed help. So instead of holding it down, but he's fronting to us, like me, Brock, and the rest of the gang, he's fronting to us like, yo, he's holding it down. And he just met a connect in jail. But in reality, he's not built like that. Mm-hmm. He went to jail and he saw how real shit get. And Kanan had Kane saw something in him though. Cause, Cause Dre, even though he's soft, he's still smart. He's like a manipulator, he's still smart. He can make moves. I think he stayed alive for him. Yeah, that's why he survived. Right. That's what he's, he's good. Yeah. He's good. Yeah. He's, nah, he's good. But he's still soft though. Mm. He's like, you could be good, but if you soft, it's, it's over. <laughs> when you once you once you start coming, like you start running into the apes, right? It's gonna get crazy. Right. So he 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 survived, and he was he was finessing us, making us think one thing, but then you know the truth always comes to the light. Like you can't hide the truth. So like he was finessing us, and then he he got exposed. So now I'm, but Two Bit is such a good dude. He's like, yo. Just keep it real with me, cause maybe, maybe I, cause like all three of us are best friends, and one of y'all kill each other, right? God forbid. But one of y'all kill each other hypothetically, and then it's like, all right, why did you do it though? If you if you got a real reason, then we can understand that and move forward. Right. But <clears throat> he's lying, like yo, I didn't kill him. So then it's like, oh, I. Right. And then Kanan is is manipulating it. Right. So now he's putting ideas in Tubi's head, like yo, see, like he's showing him, like yo, this, like he's sus. Mm. Like something wrong with like right, right. you need to you need to you know what I mean watch him. So then, cause Kanan Kanan is dope too. Kanan like he's a he's a he got to be the the most manipulative yeah. the most manipulative character on the show. One of the best characters. Yeah, yeah. Like that one character of my favorites. Was, right, one of my favorites. Hell yeah. So cause everybody thinks that um two bit is under Tommy and it's like nah Tommy's just to connect. Right, mm. two bit is not under Tommy and I just posted it on my Instagram the other day because. I think it was like yesterday or the day before that, but it's showing the deal that they cut right after Kanan got killed. Cause mm-hmm. Two Big came came to Tommy like, "Yo, Kanan told me if something happened to him, to come, to come holler at you, cause you got the drugs and no people. I got the people and no drugs. I got right. the gang. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Everybody right. rocking with me. Right. But you got you to connect. But we're not under you. Like you know what I'm saying? We don't need. We we only need you for to get money. We, but we we it's no loyalty. Not loyalty, but there's no um." If you if you fuck if you fuck around, it'll get crazy for you too. Right. You know what I'm saying? But you mm-hmm. you're just a plug. So Kanan was super manipulative, got too big to go at Dre. And then um once Dre ratted, because then remember, too big found out Dre turned into a rat. Yep. It was up. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was yeah. up. It was up it after was... that. Like, yo, we gotta <laughs> get you. So that is the build-up to the whole. Situation, so that so artistically, it felt really good because I felt like, oh, or two bit felt like he was avenging Brock, right? Mm-hmm. Like you know what I'm saying, right? Like I finally got, like that's my homie. You, like you know what I'm saying, Styles P got a crazy line that I love. He said, "I hold it down like my man's gone," but basically, like yo, if if you kill one of my mans. Mm. I'm gonna get you. Right. Like, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, right, get back, right. gang. Yeah, I don't care how long it takes, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> right. And then when I get you, I feel like I, I owe that to my man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, yo, I got him. Right. You good. So right. I feel like for Brock, 
We got him. You know what I'm saying? Vengeance, yeah. Good vengeance. Yeah. We got him. We set him on fire. Yeah, that was that was that was crazy, <laughs> yeah. bro. Like, what crazy. What, so what a crazy scene. So what did him. they do for like pyrotechnics? Yeah, for the yeah, for that the was fire. crazy. So they had the stunt man. Stunt man was mad cool. It was be the they really the set Rory. up. Yeah. What what was Rory name? Rory or Chaz? Chaz was like the head of it, yeah. but he hired somebody. And I forgot. Ah oh, man, I can't, I can't think of the dude's name. He was cool though. They really set him on fire. And it was crazy. Did, they? Did he have like, yeah. he had like a special suit? Yeah, he had a special like, suit. Everything. Yeah. He was really on fire though. And as you gotta remember, <laughs> he was really when you're on, on fire, fire it's, <laughs> it's not just the fact that you're burning. You yeah. you can't breathe. Right. You know, fire. The oxygen. Yeah. yeah. Right. So it's like he had to endure that. So it was only for like four seconds, four or five seconds. And then they always rushed and and and. So what they do? Put blankets on them. Yep, everything. Damn. Hit them with the um the fire extinguisher, sure. everything. Yeah. Yo, that's that was a crazy ass experience. I said that, that day, was lit. It? Yeah, it was what? lit. Who, would, who who directed that? I episode? would love to be there. Do you remember? Yes, I do remember. I could see his face. Oh my god, he because he directed. It was an episode. He he directed the episode. Oh my god, I cannot think of his name, but he directed the episode where it's Tommy and Two Bit in the ambulance. And then they see ghosts, and ghosts shoots up the ambulance. He directed. He directed right. episode two. I cannot. Kieran. 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 Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, Kieran. That's yeah. That's his first name for sure. But oh, I can't man. think his last name. I forgot it. I forgot. Yeah, I but he's good name. though. Yeah. And he had me in that vibe, like for that. I, Cause I remember we shot it. We shot it right there in Steiner, and mm -hmm. um, I forget, he said something to me before we did it. But that's what put me in the vibe of. It made it deeper, mm. pause. It, but but it made it like, yo, <laughs> it made it like, yo, yeah. <laughs> this right. is, is much more than just us setting you on fire. Like, yeah. this means something. It's for like rock type shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So as an actor, what's your process? Like, do you have a specific thing? Like, do you have a journal where you write stuff down? Like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you so, don't want to give anything away, like, that's no, like, no, no, just I, as your process as an actor, because people like real. to hear. Nah, Everyone's nah, different. I'll give, I'll give the process. So basically, I learned this from Samuel L. Jackson, just, just from watching it on YouTube. But he said he always kept a, a journal for his characters. So way before I had the recurring role, no, 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 it was when I got the recurring role as Two Bit in season two. But I started to like create a journal for Two Bit, even, but even though it was, it was like no lines right, and right, like, right. like yo. I didn't know. So you were doing this when you were background. Yes. Love no, that. no, no, not background. Not it's background. recurring. Oh, okay. Oh, so then when you got the recurring. but it's just not a big role. Right. It's right. Like he, he, I just he, didn't know if you were recurring or background. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, recurring. Yeah. It's like we don't, we, but we don't know what's gonna happen with right. you. But like, it's too big. Was never supposed to be. Right. Everything he turned into, yeah. it, just, it just happened. Yeah, recurring is just multiple episodes. There's no like series regular. Yeah. Video. Like, it's not, not like guest star. Right. Guest star right. is different. When, right. when you're a guest star, one episode. you got like three. I think you got you get at least three episodes. Like an arc. It's a whole story arc. Well, guest star is one episode. A recurring is multiple episodes. Right. A co-star is like what I started off like right. one scene in one episode. Right. <laughs> a guest star is like a full kind of like. A guest star is the wave. If you're right. not series regular on TV on, on, on TV shows, if you're not series regular, you want to be a guest star. Right. Mm. Right. Yeah, or but re recurring, recurring, you can do multiple episodes and you can do stuff on other shows too. So yeah, that's true too. But yeah, there's yeah. a lot of stuff changing right now in the industry where SAG just. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's no exclusivity. Yeah, no you more. could be yeah, on other shows and yeah, stuff yeah, now. Yeah. So no. everything's always changing, which is good. But yeah, it's it's crazy how it all kind of used to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The whole world just changed. Right, yeah. the journal as 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 a oh. current before yeah. anything. Oh yeah, that's, but, how, yeah that's, but, that's how you really manifest a character though. Like right. even when you even when you know you don't have a huge body of work, you wanna you wanna you wanna create your own. You wanna create your character. Like even right. if they don't. Pick up on the creation shit. Facts. So, so what Facts. was in the journal specifically? Like, do you remember? Also, oh, like, so I, I, so this was like 2014, 2015, maybe. So that's when Snapchat was lit. So, what I used to do, I used to write the journal, but I used to imagine it as me doing a Snapchat. Mm. <laughs> yeah, <I understand. laughs> but I used to imagine it like, yo, all right, I'm doing a Snapchat. He would have a Snapchat running around in the hood. On Snapchat, but I would write the journal like that. Right. So like it's like little things like that that um. So if you ask about the process and everything, so but but as far as the process, I have a technique for getting in the character, but I don't think I think I think you got to do whatever works for for you. Like of there's course. no like there's no everyone real, got no of course. Everyone's different. Right. Like yeah. if you do method and you really gotta. Cause they said they said Omari when he when he when he when he went to jail, I think it was season three, mm -hmm. that he really stayed well, in the four. jail. Well, season four. I think 
Mm, where he was in jail for a good amount, of, I think it was with Charlie year. Murphy. Remember Charlie yeah, Murphy? I think was that was yeah, four. It was four or five. It was, yeah, it was four. It was yeah. four. Yeah. yeah, that was a crazy season. That was yeah, crazy that season. Was, yeah, that was lit. But, but, but what, what they, they said? Say? Yeah. But they said that he went to, like he really stayed in the jail and he really mm. could help wow. him get in the character because he mm -hmm. he does method. So he helped helped him get in the character. Like overnight. Mm. Yeah. So I understand that. Like at Steiner. Wow. I don't know if it was at Steiner, but wherever. Mm. Cause remember we was, we 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 filmed that we would go from Steiner to Queens actual Courthouse. jail. Yeah, like yeah, we, they would go from. Oh, Steiner right. yeah, we never went to Rikers. Jail. Right. Yeah. Rikers, but um. Yeah, we filmed at that same jail when we did um when uh, Woody got his face thrown up against the wall with um his with his uh, pops. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. wow, that's but crazy. I, I would do that though. I would do that. Yeah, I would spend the yeah, night. So he spent the night in jail. That's, I think so. That's, oh, that's what I heard. Tough. He was locked in. Yeah, that, was I would do that. I understand in. it. That's tough. I understand it because so, you want to get that vibe. Right. Like, it's so weird because I actually, um, I re remember seeing those scenes of Omari in the jail and being like, he, like uh, when nah, I watched he was Power, locked in. he, was, locked he in. was. That was when he, he like in. he was yeah. great the whole series. But there were some scenes in that like when he broke. Um, uh, uh, that guy's hand that tried to grab my, his bread. That's my boy G. Bro, mm -hmm. he literally Javai, like yeah, yeah. everything was so subtle and perfect. I'm yeah, like, bro. Right. <laughs> nah, he was in. Yeah, yeah, nah, was... Ghost in Jail was a different character. Yeah, it was like, a moving it's crazy. Insane. He was locked yeah. in for sure. That insane. Shit was so, so you do power. When do you feel like like your life changed? Like, are are people like noticing you on the season street? six? Season yeah. six. Season six. That's like that's like right before the pandemic, which is the pandemic just threw everything off. But yeah. Right before the pandemic, that's when it was super lit. Right, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. I did, I, 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 I did one host thing, and then the pandemic happened. Damn. So I, did, I, I did a host thing for the Super Bowl. Flo, Flo Rider flew me out to Florida to do the host thing, and then in March, that's when we filmed season one for 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 your for y'all joint. Right, mm -hmm. and in March, like I think we had to shoot like March. It was like March 9th or like March third. Mm -hmm. It was it was it was like somewhere around then, and then March fifteenth they declared it. Yep. Damn. And I, I, I flew right back to LA. Yo, like, when they told us that, I was like, we stopped. Yeah, what? I know. Like, I said, yo, we bro. And we was on episode <clears throat> eight, bro. Yeah, it, it was, was two episodes right. away from lit. being done with it the season. Lit, I'm like, bro. no way we shutting down right bro, now. Bro, it was lit. Bro, Shut down for six months, bro. I literally remember going to the table read because the, there was a table read for eight. Mm -hmm. And then um, uh, we everyone was like, it was quiet in <laughs> Steiner. Everyone was like, Everybody you was heard like a... And then everyone and then all of us like it was just like mad eerie. <laughs> the next day was the I remember the day the NBA shut down. Mm -hmm. We I was at work with I had a scene with Effie, mm -hmm. Alex, Alex, and um the uh Alex. they they at noon Lionsgate had a meeting. They shut us completely down. I was yeah. literally supposed. I was literally supposed. I was literally getting ready to yeah, come we, to set we that, had scene day. Later we had that day. that day. Right. I was getting ready to come to set that day. Then they called me and said. Um, we're shutting down due to blah blah. blah. I said what? Yeah, yeah. but they only said crazy. one week. They only yeah. said one week break. Yeah, no, and then a week turned into a month, and it's all of a sudden I, I call my team. Yeah. They're like, right, <laughs> a week turned into six months. Yeah. I'm like, yo, yeah. bro, how are we taking this long of a break? What? You want to know what's so funny is that before the pandemic, because I was in New York, it was cold. I was inside, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I wasn't tan. I wasn't. I, <laughs> we went to LA. I gained thirty pounds yeah, from lifting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was tan. My hair was blonde. I leave the dorm room. <laughs> I come back post COVID and Brayden is fucking shredded with his hair with blonde hair. Bro, that shit is they mad did a when... good job color correcting it, but like Yo. you can clearly see there's a difference. It's yeah, fucking nah, hilarious. He mad swole compared to the two when he's They're like, where did Brayden go? Yeah. The steroid <laughs> factory? Like, <laughs> but Man, yeah, that, that shit was, was crazy. Yeah, that continuity is so important. Right. And that's yeah. something you gotta watch out for. You can't get too heavy, right, you can't get right. too skinny. Like mm -hmm. yeah. so when when did you hear that you were gonna be in ghost and what like what was that call like? Uh, all right, so for season six, I remember the last episode I did was with Anthony Hemingway. It was 615. Shout out Anthony. Yeah, the best. Yeah, he's a man. The best. Anthony. Yeah, he's a beast. But, and it's crazy because I don't I don't really do improv. Like, oh, I, I, I wasn't confident in doing improv, but we, we we shot a bunch of takes. That's when um Monique, what's, damn, what's her character's name? Blanca. 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 Yeah. That's when she had... That's when she had the black eye from, remember, Dre punched in the face. Yo, Dre rocked her shit. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, like, yeah, he just caught her, punched in the face. And so she had the black eye. So then she was, she like, she came to the jail and asked me some questions. And um, 
I threw up a, like he like we we shot the scene a few times. Then he's like, yo, just do, just do whatever you feel. And then I threw a peace sign, and that shit turned into a meme. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? Right? yeah. And I was like, what? Right. But it's because of him. Because yep. like, yo, that's why you. I love I love directors that always like they they give you a few takes. They yeah, they, they get what they want, and then and then they be like, you know, this take is for you. Do whatever exactly. the fuck you want. Right. And then that end up being the take that they use because exactly. it's like the most natural. Yeah. Like, it's like, like you just free. Yeah. I love but those. um, so. That was that was season six, and then um so I like because the character in power if you don't die, they mm-hmm. could bring you back ten years right in ten years like you know right. what I'm saying like you you don't know you just gotta be ready mm-hmm. so I knew I right, Tariq is about to be lit <laughs> and, <laughs> like really lit <laughs> and then um. Two bit might be like he he could be in that world like but nobody knows because y'all, y'all remember call me or no yeah, yeah all right so call me was saying that he wanted power this is before they start doing it but he wanted power to be like Star Wars and like Marvel as a whole universe right mm-hmm. so we was at catch I know we was at catch we was at Noble we we were at Noble one time and he was just telling me about it I'm like yo that would be lit. Like, you know what I mean? That would be right, lit. Right. So I knew it would be a uni- I knew a universe was coming. Right. Mm. So I'm like, yo, as long as Two Bit is still alive. He gonna be part of the universe. Yeah, right. he could be in the he could be in the universe. Mm-hmm. So I like, so that was I so I like, I knew it was coming. Mm-hmm. And then when they when they hit me, you know, you get the offer, and like, all right, let's let's, let's get busy. Right. Mm-hmm. And it was lit. Right. Mm-hmm. That shit was mad for Hell yeah. Did, what two bit came and yeah. shit. Yeah, I love working with y'all. Like, said, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I felt so yeah. bad. Yeah. Like, cool. yeah. Nah, that shit was lit. Right. I said, nah, go for that shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, do what you yeah, gotta nah, do. You know, yeah, yeah. That shit was yo, lit. Yo, I love bro. working with you. It's like, yo, it, this shit be fire. Hell yeah, bro. But I know, I know how two, two bit, once I get it, like once I get in the character, he like cause I gotta get in that zone. Once I get in that zone. He's he's who he is. No friends. Yeah. yeah, no friends. He doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> right. But I have to really get there. Once I get there, it's like I don't see anything. I just mm. be like right. in that mm. zone. Tunnel vision. And it, this shit feels so real to me, bro. It's crazy. It, it looks it, it looks, looks real. So you real. you are locked the fuck in, bro. Like you look angry. You look pissed <laughs> off. Like <laughs> and I know you. You're like a fucking yeah, fun I'm good dude. I'm, I'm, like, fly. I'm telling I you, I would to fly. Yeah, you right. Funny. You're <laughs> locked. That's in. the best part about it, cause right. like, and that's the thing that Courtney says. Like the thing that makes like everybody so great on 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 powers. Like everyone is so completely different than the character that they Facts. play. Like right. in real yeah. life. And Courtney's a genius. You know right. what I'm saying? Like everybody is genius. so completely different than their characters that they portray in the show. So it's just like it's just a, such a contrast switch when you actually get locked into that character. Right. Like, damn, like, and Courtney so, is a genius because she, she's like, she's brilliant because she can write the character to you. Yes. Like she like that's why that's why I love the table reads mm-hmm. because at the table reads they assess. Like even though it's we think it's for us, mm-hmm. we we can add our lines right. and, mm-hmm. and see if it works. But they're just assessing us and 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 just trying to see. All right, I hear I, I hear how they're saying it. How can I make it better? Mm-hmm. And I might say a line one way. You you might say a line one way, and then she'll make the adjustment so that it comes out like you said mm-hmm. it, and then and then still give you the freedom. To say it on the day, right? That's like, what I'm like, saying. Yeah, now nah, they, yeah, she, she's elite at that. Like she, she knows how to write a character to like geared towards yeah, the person that's right. She, she knows like, these characters better than anything, <laughs> yeah, anything. Bro. Like even, They're even. I, I remember like season two, there was a script that came out, and there was a line from Braden. I was like, he would never say this, mm. and I, I don't remember what episode, but I called Courtney, and I remember like being like, hey, this page, and she goes, I know exactly which line you're talking about. Yeah, he would yeah, never she's say on that. It. She's mm-hmm. She just knows mm-hmm. like instantly. She nah, knows these characters in. like, uh, it's, it's insane. Crazy. It it's crazy. Crazy. There's, there's, there's nobody <laughs> like her, bro. <laughs> scary, bro. So, so so when when the season uh, six scripts were coming out, mm. were you like, it's too bit alive, it's too bit alive, or were you like, I'm confident mm. to know that he's gonna be in Ghost, like, or 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 it be a part of the universe? Did you think you were gonna die? Yeah, I thought I was gonna die. I didn't know because, like I said, Two Bit was never. <laughs> right. Like, you know, right. Like, yo, Two Bit is crazy. But mm-hmm. yeah, I didn't know what was gonna happen. And then there was a point where um, I forgot who said it, but somebody that they said it, they they brought it. Like there was a. So you you see how Spanky starts snitching? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was an option where Two Bit might snitch with Spanky. Oh. Mm. And I was like, nah, we're not doing that. We can't yeah, do that. We're not going out we like that. We can't do that. Yeah. Nah. Not it's, not, it's not even about that. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, if you're an actor, you play whatever role. But, yeah, nah, but, but it's like, yo, I know the streets. And it's like, yo, everybody's not a snitch on the street. Because right. on the show, everybody, most of the, 
every ghost is a rat. Everybody's a rat Dre, for the most part. Tommy, Tasha. yeah, Tommy's the only one that's everybody not a rat. Yeah, but everybody they they work with. They with they the, they, with they, the, with they the do what they gotta do to exactly. get, a, get ahead. And if it, it means it, ratting, they gonna rat. And shout, shout out the character Tommy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We outside. Hold on. Let's, all right, let's, now, now, one of the I, best I, characters on TV. <laughs> one of my favorites. Go on, so hold on. <laughs> <laughs> let's keep it real. <laughs> Tommy was smoke braiding. Yeah. Oh. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. <laughs> maybe right now. Maybe right now. Real life, maybe in the show, Tommy's smoking. Break. <laughs> Keep it real. Maybe right now we'll see what happens. Go on. Oh, All right, say less, say less, say less. Say less. But, um, but um, but 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 what was that? You made me. Where, where we go? Oh, he's like everybody in the show was ratting. Oh yeah, but everybody yeah, in the show was ratting. Yeah, 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 too big. Yeah, too big. Yeah. Right. So I, it's not that it wouldn't make sense, cause cause yo, life is real, bro. Mm -hmm. But it's like yo. I felt like two bit was um because you know it's easy to say oh I'm not gonna snitch until you in that situation you looking at a right. hundred years mm -hmm. right like it, yo it gets real bro mm -hmm. you in jail nobody sending you money nobody calling right. like mm -hmm. I mean you can't call nobody they forgot about you and you was just the man on the streets right bro it gets it gets Life dark like that. yeah it gets dark like you really need help because one one of my cousins. He just came home. He did like, I think he did like 20, but they at first they tried to hit him with like 70 or some crazy. But it was just like, it was just, it was just my uncle and myself visiting him. Mm. And we we helped him through the bid, but it's right. just like, yo, it could get it's crazy. It's crazy how it's right? only you two visiting exactly. him. Exactly. When he was out, it was probably 20, yeah. 30 motherfuckers His on friends him. Forgot you know? about him, everything. So I always, I always had that. Like I had I, like I I saw that. Like we used to go to right, we we not right, not right, because we used to go to Greenhaven. And a couple other jails, and then and then Sing Sing was easy because that was like only forty minutes away. So when we, when we were gonna see him on Sing Sing, it was easy. Mm -hmm. But um, because everybody's not gonna rat, I felt like yo, come on, it gotta be like, how's every like? I felt like it would it would, it would be disrespectful to like the streets. If everybody's Everybody a rat, it's at least one yeah, person. It got to be at least one or two real. Yeah. And that's just, not going to rat. And yeah. this wouldn't make sense for that the two-bit character. Because that's everything that he stood for. Exactly. Yeah, but he jumped right. into that. Right. But yeah, yeah, but yeah, go ahead. Right. No, no, I'm just saying, like, that's everything. That's the two-bit character. Like, very similar to Brayden, where, like, right, right, right. they could do some wrong shit. They could fuck up. They could not be smart. I like Brayden, yeah. But they don't rat. You know, mm. like that's but like, hold on, but Brayden's not from the hood. Right, right. But I just mean that's yeah. like kind of like what's similar is like they could No, I know they they are right. similar, the but I'm just saying the difference is because Brayden's not from the hood, even he could be the most he could be gangster on right. his shit. But it's certain shit you learn in the hood when you're coming up that you can't get from anywhere else. Like 100%. there's nothing that could that could that could replace like there's nothing that can um give you that that I don't know. I don't even know what it's. It's like an energy. Right. Yeah. yeah that street. You knowledge. have to grow up in the hood to get that. And right. if you don't grow up in the hood to get that, you ain't gonna get it nowhere. And I think that's. I think that's Tommy's issue with Brady. Because <laughs> Tommy grew up in the hood, right. wilding. Right. And Brady, he just loves the shit. Right. <laughs> but that love is real too. Love right. is real too. But right. but it's just like if you didn't grow up in the hood, it's certain things that you that that, that you grow that you go through in the hood that is like yo. You don't go through it no more. Right. You, yeah, you can't get it anywhere, yeah. right. bro. Yeah. Right. That's like, you know what I'm saying? No, you're 100 right. I 100 percent agree with that. Yeah. yeah. But that's just that's just what I think. No, bro. That's real shit right. though. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, you're 100 percent right. I want to see a celebrity boxing match. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna lie. You don't want that smoke. You want that. <laughs> I want Mike. I want Mike and Meech in a celebrity boxing oh, match. Oh, niggas don't want that. Yeah. Man. Hey, we got. We see the dope. Let's do it. Let's get a double feature. What about me? What about me? Who, 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 who we gonna go fight? Who we gonna fight? Who we gonna fight? Well, line them up. <laughs> line them up. I got Mike on against anybody. No, I got Mike no, against no. Line anybody. them up. Let's, let's get it. Let's do a who whole fight card. Yes. We'll go. We'll go. Me. The power. You know, we get this shit. <laughs> we go. Mike. We, we get. Like, yo. Yo. yo that would be crazy. That would be OD. A whole, yo, whole power yo, universe card. If Fifty sees this, his wheels are gonna start spinning. He's gonna be like. This is Fifty. Gonna be like. He's gonna be watching this like this. Yeah. Yeah. He gonna call Renee. He gonna call Renee. Like, yo, what we doing? Yo. <laughs> These little niggas on the, on the podcast talking about they want to fight. Finally. What we doing? We setting up the boxing match. Yo, they, I thought they were setting up the Branson boxing match. Yes! <laughs> we gonna have a, we gonna have a boxing match I'm at the next it. Tycoon. Tycoon yes. Miami boxing yeah, edition. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn, yo, that shit will be with it. crazy, bro. All right, let, let's get into some fan questions and we'll get yeah. y'all out of here. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, 
I think you kind of already covered this, but um, who is Ann Ray Reyes said, what was your favorite scene you were a part of? When we set Dre on fire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, it was, it was it's, it's, it's up between that and it was the scene with me and Omar, who plays Spanky, where we um we did like a drive-by on broad day. Like we killed <laughs> it, was, it was it was the dude's name was Lorenzo. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, but we killed him in broad day. We just saw we like Dre was beefing with him. Mm. And we I saw him and then oh two bit saw him and then we 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 did a drive by a broad day, lit him up. That shit was mad. That's fire. Slick, fire. Slick, slick, slick shot that. Oh, yeah. shout out to Slick, man. And I coach, love working coach with Slick. Wrote that, coach yeah. wrote that, that um, episode. That's tough. And yeah. shout out to Omar Scoggins, too, man. That plays yeah. Spanky, yeah. man. Yeah. I fuck with Omar OD. <laughs> Jersey, he from Jersey. Yeah, 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 fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's the next? Next question we got from The Real K Bunny. She said, what was your favorite and least favorite thing about your character? I love everything about my character. I, like, mm -hmm. don't, the, it, there's no least favorite. I love everything about my character. Because well, think about it. What's what's your least favorite thing about yourself? Mm, that's like, you know fact. what I'm saying? So when I get into character, I, mm. I, it's, it's like you a person. That. Yeah, 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 so I'm like, I don't... What, what do you, you... dislike yourself? Yeah, it's actually like... Yeah, that's a, that's a good ass like, answer. You know what I'm saying? That's, a, like, that's a good ass right. answer. What's your favorite thing about 2 -bit? Um... I, all right, so like, my favorite thing about 2 -bit is that he... Like look, like look, like, after he 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 lined um Spanky up to get killed, right? And then he went he went to go visit his moms and mm. take care of his mom, make sure his mom's good. So like I, my favorite thing is he stands on what he believes in his in word. The streets. Yeah, like like you know what I'm saying? So even though he like it's like even though he killed you, he's still gonna make he, sure he, mommy good. Yeah, he did right. the right thing. He does the right thing. Like you know what I'm saying? He stands on that. <laughs> so that's I, real. I, I think that's dope. That's tough because he 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 took care of business like on the street side. It's not easy. And then like he became like he went back to being a human, like, oh, your yeah. son, like because at the end of the hard. day, yo, you was cool with with, with, with Spanky. And, with and you knew his moms and all of that. So at the end of the day, you still gotta go back and like. Damn, that's, that's actually, hard. That's, yeah, that's actually that's tough. Hard. Right it's there. hard to kill him too. Hell yeah! It was hard to make that call to Tommy to, to you know to kill him, but right. it's like, the old rat's got to die. <laughs> the old rat's got to <laughs> die. Was, that's the call we because yeah. that's the call that they that, that's, that's the call that they move on. So it's like yo, it was hard, but it was like yo, this had you know you know what you was doing, bro. Right. Mm -hmm. And and during season six when they were in the holding cell. Tube was trying to figure it out, and Spanky's like, "Nah, it was, it was, mm -hmm. it was Tommy, because <laughs> he ratted on Tommy. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> he ratted on Tommy, so he's trying to convince Two Bit, like, yo, it was Tommy that did this.' And I'm like, and Two Bit was like, "Yo, nah, it was Dre," and he figured it out. And then and Spanky was like, "Oh shit!" Like, yo, it really was Dre. Spanky was like, "Oh, oh. He, like, oh he already ratted. He already mm -hmm. did this." It's like, right? Damn, right. Two Bit just didn't know. Yeah, damn, it's already done. Um, all right, Jamaru underscore Boo Room. <laughs> Just make it easier for us. Um, what action has your character done? What action your character has done would you go back and change if you could? Is there anything that 2 bit did in the show that you would like to change or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember one time outside of the warehouse with with, with um with Dre, they had an argument, and Dre like kind of played him. He called him Francis. Oh, I remember that scene. I remember now, that scene. Look, now that he, we, you know, he, he's like, yo, this, he was a rat talking crazy like that. Mm -hmm. Blew his head off right then, right then and there. <laughs> yeah. He mad yeah. he ain't blow, he mad he ain't blow Jay head off right yeah, there. Blew his head off right then yeah, and there. Yeah, nah, Francis is crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Francis yeah, is crazy. Yeah, he was trying to talk crazy. Yeah. You, he, That's the OD. Well, Ashley well, Ann Love, she says, she says, do you relate to your character? If so, how? And if not, where did you get the inspiration from? I relate to him, but. A lot of people when they see me on the street, they call me too big and they think I'm too big. I'm not really too big. Like mm -hmm. he's he like like he's um to me, Courtney. I, I remember one time I asked Courtney, I said, "Yo, what's Too Big's real name?" Because as I studied acting, like your name really like the char the name of a character really means something. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's what I learned from studying acting. So it's like um, what what's his real name? And she said, "I don't know. You, you can name him." So I'm like, "All right." So then I named him Francis Johnson, and I named him after Frank Matthews, like a, a big mm. gangster from New York. Yeah. And then I named him Johnson, off of Ells Ellsworth Bumpy Johnson. Bumpy Johnson, yeah. yeah. So I'm um, so, Harlem. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So it's like two two New York big black gangsters. So it's like, um. 
that's that's where I felt like, yo, then so two bit is not me because I'm already giving I'm already giving them that, right? And then everybody, a lot of people that I knew and, and, and that I did research on, I did a bunch of research for this character, and then and then just growing up. The people that I encountered growing up, I felt like had a, had an influence right. on on Two Bit, but um, so I, I I guess I don't know if that answers the question, but hundred percent, yeah, or, uh, yeah, like yeah, you yeah. around the people, you know, people you grew up and you kind of you, you made, that made yourself a little bit the... of story too. It's kind of a little bit of both, right? You right, related right. and you didn't relate. And yeah, exactly. So it's right. like so so certain parts I relate, and the other parts like nah, mm -hmm. I'm not like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. yeah. That's fine. Bro, That's thank tough. you so much. That was an <laughs> incredible episode, bro. Like, <laughs> you brought the context out from everything. Yeah. Like, we definitely want to have you back, and bro. Now, yeah, and, I will be back. And he Let's said, and he said we and we sent and we sent up the celebrity boxing. Right? <laughs> yeah, he I'm he with came it. with the energy. I'm with it. Just line them up. Just take somebody. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'll be on the undercard. Let's get it. Bro, Let's thank you it. so much for coming on. Good thank luck shooting family. the movie. Break a leg. Hell yes. yeah, go crazy. And I'll be back. Plug everything that you that you got in. Instagram, socials, all that. Oh, I just got Instagram. That's it. Michael J. At Michael J. Ferguson. That's it. You know what I'm saying? The boy is working. Yeah. Make sure y'all look out for that movie that he got coming out very yeah, soon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hell well, yeah. Well, we're going to shoot it soon. Well, they're shooting it soon. Yeah, it it's going to come out a little year. later. Yeah, yeah. next year. Probably. But he's going to shoot it soon, so yeah. he's going to be working. Y'all going to see yeah, him on the stories. Mikey, right. um, Michael Rennie Jr. on Instagram, Twitter, Where's22 on Instagram, slash TikTok. And um, yeah, the, the crew has it. Crew wait, has wait, it. no, no, we're not done yet. Yeah, I, yeah. I can't give them the crew yeah. has it. You nah. gotta do your thing. So. Uh, at Gianni V Paolo, Instagram, TikTok. Um, go like all of my posts that were on the shade room this week. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, <laughs> give us one more. Listen, man, the crew has it, baby. Let's yes, go. sir. The crew has it. Michael J. Ferguson. Hey, you in have the it. Thank you. Building. We appreciate it, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah yes, good sir. shit. Nah, that's <laughs> Thank you so much, bro. We appreciate it. You crushed that shit. Nah, that episode was fire, bro.